can't expect the guy to not expect anything from you if he's you know spoiling you like that at some point he's going to want collect to, have, to collect <laughs> his investment yet then please make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution welcome back to another episode of what, what the is the chat? chat guys so what's the chat <laughs> what's the chat what does it mean to be a woman what is a woman what do women go through huh? what's, what's a woman, woman babes um a woman is a nurturer a caregiver also i don't know women are the actual pillars of strength Mm. I mean, I know people hate when we say, oh, women are strong because of all the things men put them through. But I think it goes beyond that. Like, women are resilient. And I know personally, and I've heard of, like, plenty, plenty women that have made a lot of situations. I can almost say I know for certain men wouldn't have been able to overcome certain situations. Like periods. Oh, yeah. Like periods. And I just want to also want to say, um, I know it's kind of messed up, but it is what it is. But I just want to say, I'm sure we all know someone whose mom was like once a helper or something. Mm. And like, you know, and they were there. But we can't say the same for someone whose dad maybe was a gardener, you know, and was still there to raise them. So I don't want really to compare the two jobs but I, mean, I hear you it's, it's that sort of vibe we would see a woman is able to like have that low paying job and, and take still care of the, kid. the children men have for to a man to it. have that job chances yeah. are he's you know he's far from home yeah and he's but i think that's left. also linked to that thing of men being taught depending on the age of the yeah. man but men being taught that your only responsibility is to bring home money mm. to provide financially yeah. and once you do that you're done but then women are able to do both. Because women were taught, depending on how old you are, that your responsibility is it's to take much. care yeah. of the kids. So even if you have a job, your responsibility is to those children. Is to yeah, no. to those kids. But yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. What is a woman? A woman is love personified. <laughs> women are the closest thing to God. Because anything that, that can create life is... Oh yeah, big ups to that. You're you know, being able to like... I mean... Have babies. I mean, you can Yo, you can carry... You carry a child. I see, you know, being able to come back from, you know, recovering, going back to work, all of that. That is still just as commendable. But for the fact that you're able to carry and give life to someone else... Lerato, what is a woman? <laughs> a woman really is just... Yo, how would you even define it? I, I don't have one single um, textbook definition. I don't have any particular description for women. Um, I just think it's a combination of various features or whatever um, from life, from experiences, from different women that come together and make up whoever you turn out to be as a woman. Ooh, what is a woman? A woman is strength. Um, a woman is power. A woman is resilient. A woman is life. Yes. Um, a woman is a leader. A woman is a master manipulator. And I, oh. <laughs> A woman. <laughs> yes. That's the end of the YouTube video. <laughs> Welcome Don't back to my channel. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. They say that mothers nurture their sons and raise their daughters. And what they mean by that is they believe that mothers are like very soft on their sons. They are delicate with them, but on their daughters, they have a much firmer hand, and yeah. they are given. The daughters tend to be given more responsibility and are treated as older than what they are meant to be. What do you guys think about that? I personally... Sorry, what? What? Happy birthday. <laughs> it's a 12. Yeah. Oh. Birthday. Hey. <laughs> oh, to the what? 
Yeah, here we go now. Oh, oh, whose birthday is it? What? Whose birthday is it? Shoot. Whose birthday is it? What? To the, oh, what? Oh, what? Look out. That. Can we? What? Can I what? Oh, oh, that's right. It's, it's church birthday. It's church birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. You are now. I'm a woman, y'all. Okay, so there is the belief that mothers nurture their sons and raise their daughters. What do you guys think about that? Uh, have you, as men, have you seen that in your mothers? Do you have a sister? I have an older sister. Okay, that's what yeah. I'm gonna say. Personally, I can't relate. She's kept the same energy. But yeah, you have three brothers though. So if it's happened, it's Do you think that again. your mother has, really? has no. raised you and nurtured your brothers? Here's the thing though. I do think she gives me more responsibility than them and has more expectations of me than them. But I don't think it's it's not a bad thing. It's not something that's done from a hard place. It's just that mm. she's been taught what a woman is and a woman has certain responsibilities and as a woman and a mother it's her responsibility to pass that on to me and that's what she's trying to do she's not trying to be hard on me or give me more work because she hates me or whatever but it's because she's trying to equip me to the best of her knowledge to be what a woman is and a woman who can survive and keep a household but ultimately as Makoti anyway Ooh, just you get married, and it's not always the case, but generally, you get married and you go Kotisa. Guys, that's basically going, to, going to your mother. They're training you to be a wife. Yeah, basically. so you go to your mother-in-law's house. At the, I think it's early stages of the marriage, right? Just after getting married, I think. It's yeah. like for three months. Or three. And they train you in terms of being a wife, like the cooking, the cleaning, and just to yeah. treat, so teach you how to be a wife. It's the woman there that are going to say, but your mother failed, you know? Your mother didn't teach you. A, B, and C, your mother failed to like show you what it is to be a woman. So you think it's also pressure wife. on their side? Absolutely. Because Oh yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna have another woman come at me, bruh, about being a woman. Yeah. Let alone come at me about how to raise my own daughter. Exactly. Mm. I'm a woman, you're gonna tell me that you're a better woman or a bigger woman than <laughs> we so are here. That, so that raises oh, that raises um, <laughs> that brings me to my second question. Mm -hmm. Why is it? Why is it that women hate other women? I think women, I don't know if. Okay, first of all, I think women naturally compete with each other, but it's different from men in that I feel like men's competition is a game, it's playful, mm. but I feel like women's competition is spiteful. It's not to like if Z beats you, he beats you. Oh damn, that sucks. Okay, uh, you know, uh, you know what I mean. But for a woman, it's <laughs> you guys. Women are passionate, so when they come for you or come for each other, it's it's spiteful. It's it's hurtful. It's kind they, of poison. They're coming for blood. They're coming for blood. You know. So there's but, that. But why? The moral of the story is that there's no reason. You'll see someone in the streets and you decide that you don't like. And sometimes perhaps your energy is just. You know, your energy just don't. Work. At the time, it's premeditated. I am not going to like this. But it's a real thing, and I won't even lie. I've had it where I just see her, and I'm like, nope. that's not my vibe. Like I, I can do without. You know what I mean? It's okay if I don't make it her business, and I go. Don't go and be spiteful. Yeah, I'm not gonna now go throw it in the face that whatever. Oh, like it's not even her business that I feel that way because yeah, you that's know. That's a good point. It's not her business. It's not her business. Feel that way. I'm not gonna but make it my business now by carrying it with me. Make it their business. Like I don't. They want to make the, it. Yeah, but not that's like her it. business now because yeah. I didn't make it your business. So if you're taking it upon yourself to make it your business, then. Go do you, babes. I think it's interesting when you say that it's not her business, the f how you feel about her, you know what I mean? And I think also maybe it's a matter of, as women, we are territorial, but where we get mistaken is territorial over what? Mm. There's a place for you to be territorial. Territorial? Like, there's your man. That's your man. Those are your kids. That's your family. That's one thing. But for you to be territorial over like, you know, this thing in, in school where the grade seven girls would be like to us, the grade six girls, these, these grade seven boys are our men. I think sometimes women's territorial behavior or instinct or the way they Come choose to, they choose to display it. No, not even insecurity. It's misplaced. 
into into spaces that don't belong to you into people that don't belong to you if i walk into another room and you are there that space doesn't belong to you you know so don't be territorial over something that doesn't belong to you do it over your man your kids your whatever i think there's that also i don't i just personally don't think i know it doesn't happen with guys we had a party and z wants to hook up with benita and i also want to hook up with benita and then z notices that no we both have eyes for the same girl you know nine times out of ten z is going to pull me to the side and say yo uh i we, we want the same girl what happens then and then we'll talk it out and we're in the same page please and stop that guys Please stop it, cause no, no, no. maybe Benita or Patelamzi, but Mz is thinking, you know what? I'll let you have it. You go, go get it. Please stop it, because let Benita decide. You know this thing of that uh, that friend. You know, guys, if you're the unattractive yeah. friend in a squad, you know that you're the unattractive <laughs> friend. Please don't. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm not gonna. No, this is no. This is a stressful chat that we need to have, guys. No if you guys are friends, now and you both see that this girl is like one that tickles your fancy. Honestly, guys, stop this thing of no boy. It's fine. Go get it. No. All of you, please it don't like, belong to you. All of you shoot your, your shots. Friends. Please, all of you shoot your shots. So yeah. And then I or will eliminate <laughs> whoever I eliminate, and then we'll see from there on. Okay. This thing because a lot of the time, too often, the one that you actually want the shot from is like the one that gets off. Stop this nonsense! Stop this nonsense! I feel like there's some personal. Let it out. No, it is personal! It's very personal! You know, after that one friend goes for you, you boys. if that whole squad is shitting, man, you, if they take you seriously, once that one goes for you, the other ones are not gonna go for you out of They fall back and real! So, something that I wanna talk about in terms of female. Um, that I think a lot of guys actually feel and a lot of women as well is that women do not take accountability Can't ever. Do you want to spell it? Not even a ACC. little like, But can you guys expand on that? I mean, you guys just don't want to accept when you're wrong You don't accept anything wrong Do you understand? Right, it's, left, like, right. it's, like, it's like this, right? The guy does something wrong The girl gets mad The guy has to do something to, you know Win her to make up for it. To make up for it. Yeah. Girl gets mad because you get mad. Listen, the girl then mm. does something wrong. Guy gets mad. Girl gets mad that the guy is mad. Now the guy has to do something to make up for the fact that she's mad. What? Why? Okay, I really do believe women need to take more accountability in the small stuff and in the serious stuff. Learn to apologize. Learn to accept when you're wrong. The world does not revolve around you. Nobody owes you an apology all the time. Not every man is dogging you. Stop hitting men. Stop watch abusing how, men. Watch men how need love too. Men. Stop abusing watch how at least while you're saying this, at least three women watching this right now. Where you're like, I'm gay. Nina, I I'd cut F and B stadium girls with scissors. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather. For real, for real. How does that affect you, a woman not taking accountability on the real, real? It does because it's like, okay, now there's. For me, I feel like okay, we have to set this. Women, especially out of everybody else, right, are pushing for gender equality, and I strongly, strongly, strongly believe in that as well. However. There's parts to play in it. Do you understand? Just as much as us as men have the responsibility to, you know, um, do whatever we have to do to make sure that the um, the, the, the playing field is evened out, mm. they also have um, to do the same thing. Because it's like, okay, on our side, we have to make sure we have to level the playing field, but women are still enjoying their perks mm. of being women. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm just saying, yo, isn't that a sense of like double standards? Yeah, what's the point? You know, what's that's the a point? True, that's a true fact. You know? And it's also a thing of why why do you get defensive when I'm calling you out on something that you know that can better you? Yeah. I'm saying, hey, you just have an issue with dealing with A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. We work on that. Yeah. And then 
I think this thing of also one-sided gender roles or gender role expectations where you expect a man to provide, you expect him to bring home money, girlfriend allowance, everything. But when it's your turn to fulfill your gender roles, I can't believe you believe in gender roles. You're expecting him to fulfill his gender role, being the provider and whatnot. When it's time for you to cook, when it's time for you to laundry, that's when there's you, no more gender roles. That's when there's no gender roles. Now, will be now like we're talking about equality. Thing, it will be the smallest thing. Of, I'm sorry for interrupting. It would be the smallest thing of like I've just never understood how. Please, like, try to explain to me. Girls, when it's their birthdays, right? They want the big blowouts, right? <laughs> they want. I'm speaking to the South African woman now. The it's, ones. It's literally that my birthday were, right now. Guys, tagging, so I feel kinda... The ones that are tagging. Uh, that are giving. South African men straight bullets oh, yeah. when they are tagging them on the okay, Kylie Jenner, Travis Scott yeah. roses on the floor thing and they're like South African men will never do this they want that they want that for their birthdays cool what do we get? Sex. socks they give sex sex and socks is that not supposed to be hugs uh, I'm not saying <laughs> you can't use something that we get we do on a regular basis as as a gift yeah I feel like you want us to go the extra, the extra mile. mile go the extra mile for us firstly first of all your rev, your rev rooms are too small for all those rooms Bruh. if you want your man to spoil you you have to spoil him too there are hands who expect their man to give them first what is girlfriend allowance honestly what the hell and why can't we get boyfriend allowances the motherfucking uh oh uh, damn damn oh uh, uh, fuck it for you to think that you have claim over someone else's child's money not your husband who are you when it's time like, for you who are you because on, what were you first of all what were you doing before this boyfriend yeah like how were you surviving? how were you coping before exactly how were you doing your nails if you weren't doing your nails then right now do you need to do your nails stop this nonsense tertiary varsity or college whatever you see so many girls with that type of energy that you know they'll definitely they're more than happy to take 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 when yeah. it's time for them to give it's it's very it's a problem. It's 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 very much a problem. It's quite, Do you understand? It's very quite like you'll hear crickets now. I think crazy. this stuff is Twitter, guys. Don't let Twitter make you think this Twitter is real life. Real life those guys. those yeah. girls who are getting fifty thousand deposits. First of all, you don't you don't know the story, guys. You, you don't know if no it's a genuine it. boyfriend. If you don't know what she yeah, did for no that money, you don't know. Maybe it's drug money. Maybe he beat her. You know that some guys will spoil you after they beat mm. you. You don't know the story, guys. Stop letting Twitter fool you into Twitter is not real life. Also, people show you the best. Also, yo, like Control. what you can't expect the guy to not expect anything from you if he's you know spoiling you like that. At some point, he's going to want collect to, have, to collect <laughs> his investment. Guys, comment down below as a woman. What do you think a woman is? What makes you believe that you are a woman? What things do you find? Like, just what do you have to add? A woman taking accountability. Where are women lacking? How does it affect men? All that good stuff. That's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. And we'll be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys.